All right, man. So look, before we even get into this video, I just want to say I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much, bro. We just hit 50. 3k now i don't know where we at right now we may be at 54k okay this video is going up the next day it's going up tomorrow okay today is actually monday it's going up tuesday so i don't know where we're gonna be at but bro we just hit 53k and i just want to say i appreciate every last one of y'all from the bottom of my heart but look i got a poll question of the day for y'all i need y'all go down below in the comment section and answer this question for me i like to interact with y'all okay who was the greatest president? All right, that's simple as that. Who was the greatest president? Just need to, just leave them name down below. I just want to see where y'all heads at. I just want to see who you feel like was the best president. I only lived through about three presidents, okay? I only lived through about three presidents. So me personally, the the president, the best president I have seen so far is Trump. That that's just me personally. I only lived through three. But y'all let me know in the comment section below. Without further ado, man, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing? Follow your boy on IG. Also, I got a podcast channel. Link in the description box below. Go support your boy. You feel me? Go support your boy podcast channel. And also, with the whole president thing, I know they all got some flaws to them. But y'all could just still let me know, like, who's the best. You feel me? Who did the best job as a president? Simple as that. Without further ado, man, let's get it. Let's go. Are most black Americans suffering due to racism or the lack of more character? Well, it, 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 it is a false equivalency. It is neither. It is, so they're not suffering is, due to racism. It is both. And they're it not is suffering. more than both. But you, you give me too many answers. That's all you can get? Wait, so first of all, you say there is neither. Then you say it's both. And then you say it's more than both. Which one is it? Bro, Jesse literally be asking the most simplest questions. And I swear, it's like when you don't know an answer, you beat around the bush. And then you don't even answer the actual question that's being asked. Like you just beat around the bush and say some some like just a whole bunch of nonsense i mean literally he asked a simple question and you can't even give a yes you can't even give a no or you can't even get racism or what was the other thing that he said there's more than both a more character are most black americans suffering due to racism or the lack of more character racism or the lack of more character which one it, it both no that, that that's not an answer okay you can't say it's both is more than both or it's neither it, come on bro you, way too many answers well, it, 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 it is a false equivalency. It is neither. It is. So they're not suffering is, due to racism. It is both. And they're it not is suffering. more than both. But you, you give me too many answers. That's all you can get, though. I mean, everything is not a soundbite. There, there are no, some things. No, I want to know. Is it yet, are they suffering due to racism or the lack of moral character? It is not either or. It so they're not suffering due to racism and they're not suffering due it, to the it lack is, of moral character. It is both and and oh, some more. Lord. Does racism affect Black employment, yes. Uh, are there other things that affect, affect black employment? Certainly there are. Racism is one of them. Uh, perhaps some character issues, depending on who the person is. Let me, let me go back to this. First, I want- Wait, so he just said racism in this, is affecting black, black employment? Oh my, bro. I'm not even gonna talk right now because we only 47 seconds in. But y'all know I will go literally off but I'm going to let him finish. I'm going to let him finish. Maybe he could back up to what he just said. I want to say that racism doesn't exist. It's an illusion. What do you um, say about that? I say that's silly. You say that's silly? Yes, sir. Why do you say it's silly? Well, I've been called names enough to know that racism exists. But that could be because they just hated you. They made a judgment and they hate you. Not because of your color. They just hate you. Oh, bro, what? Bro. I, no, 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 Jesse, Jesse, I ain't never, I ain't never heard nothing like that in my life, never, dog, I ain't never heard nothing like that in my life, that was the most common sense thing that I have ever heard in my life, that was just so much like, bro, <laughs> I gotta hear that one more time, just one more time for the one time, one more time for the one time, but that's crazy, I ain't never thought like that, never thought of it like that. Just because people call you names does not mean they're calling you the name because of your color, the color of your skin. It could just mean that they hate you. They don't like you. I won't use hate. I would say they don't like you. They don't like they don't like your character because I feel like we always supposed to we almost go based off a of person character, not because of the color of their skin. MLK. I'm just saying. But and it's funny because people say people say that whole entire quote or whatever that MLK say, but then they don't live by it. It's like. It's, it's a lot of hypocrites. They say that stuff, but then don't live by it. Issues depending on who the person is. Let me let me go back to this. First, I want to say that racism doesn't exist. It's an illusion. What do you say about that? I say that's silly. You say that's silly? Yes, sir. Why do you say it's silly? 
Well, I've been called names enough to know that racism exists. But that could be because they just hated you. They made a judgment mm. and they mm. hate you, not because you're color, they just hate you. Uh-huh. <laughs> nah, uh-huh, ain't no, uh-huh. nah, boy, it just made a whole lot of sense. I mean, even, even it just made sense for me and I never thought of it like that. Never thought of it like that. It's crazy. Do you ever have fights with family members? No, I refuse. But you know, family them. members do fight, right? Sure. And uh, is that racist? Not necessarily, no. And so why is it that when blacks and whites fight, it's racism? You're oversimplifying reality. No. Does uh -uh. the Bible say that we have a race issue or a spiritual issue? I think the biggest problem with us when it comes to race relations is not skin, but sin. And so that issue of our problem starts on the inside. It's a person's heart. And so the uh, Bible said that we, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Uh -huh. But spiritual warfare is real. People don't understand that. People don't understand that. They got to read their Bibles. They don't get it. I know that. I know that. But against spirits and principalities and wickedness in high places. Yes. Meaning that it has nothing to do with skin color. It has nothing to do with male and female. It's good versus evil. Am I right about that? I believe you're right about that. So then why should children of God go along with the children of the lie and call it racism when it's really not racism? Something that we doesn't exist, never has existed. And, and because it doesn't exist, we can't solve it. it you, why not call you, it what it is? So you we actually can, think oh, racism man. has never existed? Right. Do you think you could trace your family history back to a thing called slavery? Or is that my imagination? I can. As a matter you, of fact, so you don't I, think slavery was racism? No. You weren't your parents. Because there were black people who owned slaves no, as well. That's not my point. Thank the you. point is, I, bro, I said that in my last video and nobody, nobody gets that. Nobody truly gets that, bro. They don't realize that black people were sold into slavery. Like, it was literally black people that was literally sold into slavery. And it was other, it was black owners. It was black slave owners. But nobody does their research to understand that. When I finally did my research and truly understand that, bro, I was like, my mind was like blue. Like, at the end of the day, I know slavery is real. Okay, I believe in slavery. But it was just like, I thought only white, I thought only white people, it was only white slave owners. I never thought it would be a black slave owner. Why? Because the schools didn't teach that there was a black slave owner. The schools didn't teach that. They didn't, they didn't teach that it was black slave owners. They did not teach that. They only taught about the whites owning the blacks. And then in movies, even in movies, they make it seem as if the blacks are always the poor people. But then they make it seem like the whites is always these rich, these rich million, billion dollar air people. But they're really not. They're really not. It's some that are and it's some rich black folks. But they make us low class and they make white people high class. Then they, they brainwash black people to think that this is what it really is when it's really not. Racism is literally all it is is people discriminate somebody else because of the color of their skin that's uh, point blank simple i'm not going to say word for word definition what racism is y'all can look it up yourself but if you just want a short definition all it is is discriminate somebody because of the color of their skin the color of their skin if i get into a fight with a black uh, a white person and they say oh that's uh something i don't know just something that's terrible about my skin color you feel me and they and they doing that off my skin color but not doing it because they hate me that will consider racism. But if they just saying names like, oh, you goofy, you this, you that, like that just mean that we just don't have, we don't, we don't like each other. Simple as that. Just like what Jesse said. Just like, I mean, this man literally makes so much sense. So much sense. This is why I love his videos, bro. Why were you a slave? Because they just happened to own me. But it, let me it, tell you But this. it had nothing to do with your race. Well, well, is, no. is there a reason why the preponderance of slaves in America, they were just accidentally black? But or? you know, white people have been enslaved as well by other of whites, course. right? And then blacks have been enslaved by other blacks in, in parts of Africa. That's right. still in, is uh, that yeah. racism? Well, probably not. No. I, yes or no? I said probably not. I know, but I need a yes or no. You're a pastor, so uh -huh. I, I want to try to help people. Yeah, I understand that. Is but, that racism when black? When blacks enslave other, other blacks. blacks. Yeah. Uh, it can be racism, sir. When That's blacks the issue. enslave other blacks. It can be, yes. How is that? I'm black, you're black, I take you to the white slaveholder because you're black. That's racism on my part and his. But we're not talking about white on black uh, slavery. In Africa, black on black. Yeah. Slavery, no white people uh -huh. around. Yeah. Is that racism? It can be. But is it? 
you'll have to check his heart. I don't know. <laughs> you have the reality it, no, is man. the preponderance, the most of white. All it is so it, it's ridiculous to me how it can be black on black stuff. And people will say it's probably not racism. That's not that's not as bad as this. That's not this. That's not that. But at the end of the day, when it comes to a white person and a black person, it's always a quick answer like this. It'd be a quick answer. Yes, that's racism. Yes, that's this. Yes, that's that. It's always a quick answer when it comes to white and black. But what about us and our own people? What about black and black? I mean, we literally beat up each other. We burn down. We burn down uh, other black people businesses. We we hate each other. We kill each other. What about the things that's going on in the black community that nobody's talking about for real, for real? They always beat around the bush when it comes to the black community. When it comes to the white people and the black people, oh my gosh, boy, you can have a whole conversation all day long about that. Why is that? When I feel like you can have more of a real, real conversation when you look in the black community and see all the bad things that's happening in that community. All the killing, all the violence, all everything. But nobody talk about that. Nobody say... Because uh, I guess if it's a white person killing a black person, that is completely racism. But if it's a black person killing a black person, that's not racism. If it's a black person holding a, another black person into slavery, it, that could be racism, but it's not racism. You you see what I'm saying? Like It's just like, bro, this is ridiculous. This is what's going to keep dividing us. We would never be united until we all just have that common sense and come to common ground and just be like, you know what? Let me just open my heart up. You say check the heart. Let me just open my heart up and see what's really out there. See the truth. See everything that's going on in the black community. See everything that's going on with whites and blacks. And let me just have some common sense and be like, okay, this is weird that we're missing this whole bunch right here. All the killing in this community, but we only focus on this right here. This small portion, but we missing a, about the, the, the 90%, but the 10% we go focus on. And that's the whites and the blacks. But the, but the uh, 90% we're not going to focus on, which is blacks and blacks. It's all BS to me, all bull to me. On black slavery was racism. How do you know if that? You read, if you read the writings, if you read the diaries, if you check the historical statements made by the folks who held the slaves, the disrespect, the disregard, well, making uh, them well, three fifths, making, them, worse making them not a person, <laughs> then three fifths of a person, uh, that is racism. It was institutionalized, codified right there in no, the Constitution. No, that was for the power of the of vote. Of course it was, but it's still racism, no, it's regardless not. of what your motive is. Let it's me move racism. on. Um, right. Morality. I say that most black Americans suffer, are suffering not because of racism, but the lack of moral character. Most blacks are immoral. Do you disagree with that? I think that's a stupid statement, sir, with all due respect. <laughs> and do you disagree? I definitely disagree, yes. And why do you disagree? Well, to say that most blacks are immoral, uh, I, I disagree because it compares it, it by, by virtue of, uh, of, of the context in which you say it, it is in comparison to whites. I think that's what you're saying. I wasn't thinking that way, but okay. Well, I mean, <laughs> you have to have some context but to it. But you disagree with me, right? Oh, yes. Uh, 72 percent of black babies are born out of wedlock today. And what's is the percentage that, of white babies? Is born that more? What percentage of white babies are born out of wedlock? Answer my question. First. I happen to know. But is that immoral? It's definitely immoral. So then, so these blacks who are having these babies are carrying out, uh, performing an immoral act, right? Uh huh. Am I right? Yeah. Uh, black on black crime, out of control in most of the cities. Is mm. that immoral? I couldn't call that necessarily immoral. It's not immoral. Why it not? depends on what you, what crime, who, how, who's participating in it, how many people. And, you know, you went from the one about the. Ba it always depends on this. It always depends on that, bro. I'm just sick and tired. I'm sick and tired. I like literally. I'm sick and tired, bro. It always depends on this and depends on that when it comes to black on black. It always. Why can't it be just a straightforward answer like when y'all answer with whites and blacks, bro? Why y'all gotta allow race to divide us? Like why? Why? Y'all always want to bring up slavery, bro. I'm going to be real and I'm going to keep it a bug. Get over it. Get over it. And the reason I say get over it because we're not, we not held captives no more. You feel me? We're not. Now, granted, granted, I know what's happening in certain parts of the world. I know that. But if you are in America, because this is the country I'm in right now. I'm in America. So if you are in America, please, I'm just trying to figure out, let me know what state is, is holding y'all 
holding y'all held captive with you got a white you got a white slave owner and black and the black person. Let me know, please. Cause last time I check, if I'm in the land of the free, I can do whatever I want to. Y'all allow race to keep dividing us. It's like y'all never want to be united. Y'all never want to come together. Y'all always, and it's always the left. And then, and then you got the right. It's just like, bro, why? Why everything got to divide us? You got conservative. You got uh, this. You got that. You got this. It's just, why? Just come together. Just come to common sense and just realize what's really going on in the world. Realize how, I'm not going to say that because YouTube going to fly my video if I do say that. So, I'm not going to say it. But if y'all can finish the sentence and put two to two together, you can realize exactly what I was about to say. But you got to realize how much the <clears throat> is screwing us up. You feel me? Like, nobody knows this. Like, nobody. It, it, some people do, but then it's it's like, bro, ninety five percent of the people don't. It's just all bull, bro. It's all bull, and that's why I would never get. I would never support Black Lives Matter. I would never do none of that, never, because we can't even hold each other accountable. It's always this. It always depends on this. It depends on that. Like it's always something, bro. Babies, and you left a question unanswered. What was that? The majority of white babies are also well, born out of wedlock. Well, why are you bringing up whites when we're talking about blacks? Well, because why are you picking on blacks? I'm not. <laughs> why, I'm not why picking are you, on why you, blacks. I mean, it's, I it's an American I'm problem. I'm help blacks. See, why are we talking about racism then? Because it's an American problem, How's not it, a black it's problem. It's not an American problem. It is an American problem. How's the majority that? of babies in America now are born out of wedlock. But see, we're talking about the issues of black Americans today. And how are you going to help them if you justify their bad behavior oh, nobody's justifying. by pointing out what white people are doing because blacks are already blaming everybody else for their problems exactly instead of themselves so they're not Ex getting better uh -huh. exactly they won't get better they won't once they start holding themselves accountable once they start pointing the fingers at themselves and stop pointing at every other race around them and and when they stop believing that every other race is less than them or when they, cause they, they, cause black lives believe that uh, they're they're better than the the next race. They believe that they can start movements like Black Lives Matter, but not say all lives matter. Then get mad when people do say all lives matter. When we say all lives matter, you realize that includes your life too. Like I, I don't get why people be having so much hate when people say that. When I be like, bro, that 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 includes you too. Like I I, I didn't say just whites. I didn't say just this life. I didn't say that life. I said all lives. And it's like we would never be able to hold ourselves accountable when it comes to situations like this, when it comes to racism, when it comes to this white privilege. We would never be able to hold ourselves accountable. We will point the fingers always at the next person, never point it at ourselves, never realize, OK, why is my why is the black community so bad? Why is it so bad? I mean, seriously, why is this? Why, why are we killing each other? Why is black people, why is young black kids having guns without their concealed to carry and they're not using the gun to defend themselves? You know what they're using it for? they just blowing the gun. they just blowing it. Pop, pop, pop. they just shooting anything they see. Pop, pop, pop. That's, that's all they're doing. That's why there's so much violence in Chicago. It's so sad that I can't even say people really want to visit my city. People don't want to visit my city. Why is so much violence? It's just so much violence. Who want to visit? I know it's violence everywhere, but I mean, literally, you would not, I don't think you would hear a person say, yeah, I'm finna go visit Chicago. I'm going to go to Chicago to go visit. And so that's why I brought you here to make them focus on themselves uh -huh. and stop talking about what the white man is doing. OK, thank uh, you. Black people who are focusing on yourself. Stop. But no, you are pointing out when I ask you about immorality and all this stuff, you right. pointed out what the white man did. No, no, I, no, I only did it because you are, by definition, comparing black people to whites. I'm not. Well, by definition, no, I'm not comparing them, them at all. I'm talking you about, it, you, I'm you talking know, about the way that God wants us to live as a people if we want to survive on earth. <laughs> Man, I need to finish watching that full episode because boy, boy, I'm not gonna lie, that was getting good. But my whole thing is, and Jesse is totally right, bro. When he just, when he, what he just said about race was like, literally, bro, I never heard nobody explain it like that. And when I just listened to that, bro, oh my gosh, that's like <laughs> so much knowledge, bro. So much knowledge. Shout out to Jesse. Shout out to Jesse, man. But I'm going to tell you like this. When it comes to racism, literally, bro, I mean, I know it's going to keep going on. I know it's going to keep happening. And, you know, I see a lot of people that say, well, the only way that racism will stop if people stop talking about it. No, it, that's not true at all. That's not true at all. Because you got black people who would never hold themselves. I think racism will stop when black people start holding themselves accountable. 
when they stop holding themselves accountable and realize like, okay, this is happening in the black community because of this. We're killing each other, blah, 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 because of this. Like, it, it, when they start holding themselves accountable and stop saying, well, white people, they kill us all the time. White police officers do this to us. They do this to us. Blah, blah, blah. Like, bro, just stop. Stop blaming the white police. Stop blaming the white man. Stop blaming whatever who's whatever white. Stop blaming white people for all y'all problems. For all y'all problems. Well, we poor because the the, 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 the the white men they they told us that we can't we can't have uh this and we can't have that. Like, bro, just stop. Stop. Just take a step back and look at y'all selves and be like, I'm the problem. I am the problem. Not the white man, not this and not that. I am the problem. My race is the problem. Like for real, bro. When y'all go grow up and just get over this whole, y'all want to bring up slavery so much, so much, so much, bro. This is why. This is why I li literally say the fallen state. This is why. Th literally, stop bringing up race and everything. Stop bringing up slavery and everything. Slavery is long. The slavery y'all talking about is long gone. Okay, long gone. I understand that slavery was a tragic situation, but y'all looking at white people. But y'all not looking at how there was black slave owners also. So let's start talking about that too. Let's not just look at the white people. Let's start talking about the black slave owners too. Let's talk about how we were sold into slavery also. Like let's start talking about all of that too. Put the whole entire story together, not just part of it. Put everything together. Everything. Do y'all research, man. These history teachers, they're not teaching y'all the full truth. They're not. Anyways, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about the video, man. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing? Follow your boy on IG. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.